Hello, I'm Matthew Nicholson, founder and CEO of Digital Medical Tech. I've been looking for inventory and misplaced equipment inside of hospitals for the past 10 years. I worked as a janitor all the way up to an anesthesia tech in the operating room, and most recently for Johnson & Johnson, selling plates, screws, knees, shoulders, and hip replacements. In all of these roles, I saw how lost equipment impacted both patients and staff. Surgeries were delayed while OR staff searched for lost trays, preventative maintenance dates were missed, and nurses focused on finding equipment when they could be caring for sick patients. Each year, 25% of all hospital equipment is lost, stolen, or even accidentally thrown away, on average costing between four and $5,000 per bed per year. And medical staff can spend up to 30% of their shift looking for this equipment. Not a great use of time. Many health systems have tried to tackle this challenge using barcoding and RFID technology. However, these products are labor intensive, extremely expensive to implement, and often do not provide the level of granularity that is necessary to make them truly useful in a hospital setting. At Digital Medical Tech, we have changed this, allowing for room level accuracy at a third of the cost. As you can see, the main screen shows the blueprint of the hospital. To the left, you'll see the toolbar, and the right, all the equipment spread across the floor. If I want to search for all the bladder scanners, I can simply type in bladder scanner, and the green dots appear orange where these are located. If you want to view the equipment inside of a room, click on that room. On the list, you will find what's inside. If you want to view the details of the equipment, showing descriptions, pictures, also locations, simply click on that item and you'll view that. We also have set up text triggers. So when equipment leaves a designated zone inside the hospital, you will receive alert stating bladder scanner left the front door. Hospitals currently purchase separate asset tracking solutions for the main hospital and for the operating room. We replace both of these by offering an array of solutions, including autoclavable and non-autoclavable tracking beacons. We have the only sterilizable Bluetooth tracking beacon on the market, currently in the patent pending state. There are over 5,600 hospitals across the country, on average losing over $2 million a year in lost and stolen equipment. Non-surgical assets, beds, wheelchairs, IV pumps, account for $3.2 billion in annual loss. And surgical assets account for another $3.6 billion. For our business model, we charge an implementation fee up front, covering education and installation, plus tracking tags based off the number of devices they would like to track, and we charge for user license fees. Currently, we have multiple paid pilot sites with over 3,000 active tags at Keck Medicine of USC, and we are deploying an additional 1,000 tags for our newest pilot at Cedar sinai We have two signed letter of intents with hospitals on the East Coast and are also in discussions with Johns Hopkins, University of Maryland, and Barnes Jewish. And our vision for asset tracking doesn't just apply inside the hospital. We have developed an app to allow medical device companies to track their equipment across the country, and we have confirmed an enterprise pilot with Medtronic. We are a passionate team of five medical sales and product people who have seen firsthand the impact to providers, health systems, and patients when critical and life-saving devices are not properly accounted for. I'm Matthew Nicholson, and we are Digital Medical Tech. Thank you.